Terminal 3, a word which had many meanings for many different people. The eighth largest airport terminal in the world and the fourth largest in the APAC. A landmark of all sorts for a capital city. A modern day engineering marvel which took just three years to complete. One of the first mega structures in India, this terminal completes one year. A year of hits and misses. So, amidst the initial noise and the following calm, we uncover the first 365 days of Terminal 3. The incubation period is over. Since the 28th of July 2010, thousands of flights have landed on the tarmac behind me and millions of passengers have made their way in and out of these halls. So what's the verdict? Have those initial niggles gone away and what has made this airport terminal one of the busiest in a short space of time? Ease of accessing the airport is of prime importance when 34 million passengers have to board their flights from it every year. Right off the National Highway 8, a key arterial road of the National Capital Region, the location of T3 is central enough. The initial challenges of not having an underpass ready in time to match the operations of the airport did lead to irate passengers travelling in peak traffic hours for a few days. That's a hurdle, says the management has been crossed now with a broad enough underpass and a diversion with a four-lane road which can accommodate sufficient number of cars. An easier short route from the domestic airport has also been created to reach Terminal 3. See, when we started that airport, we are already have planned a multiple entry into the airport. So one of the key entries we planned for this underpass, North underpass. You look at that, the first of its kind, and we made the, under the runway portion, we made underground and that made T1 to T3 become more hassle-free. This is what happened, T1 people have to come to T3, have to come to National Highway, H, and then come into the side. So that is totally eliminated. So this saved tremendous time of almost half an hour to take, you know, 10 minutes. So that became a transfer between the T1 and T3 is easier, number one. Number two, those people come from Delhi, they need not come to T3 up to NHC. They can come if you want by T1, come, and then come to the underpass. And second thing also, as you see that we have central Spain extended to the Maipal road. Mm. So that also we planned. So what happened today, we have T1 area, you can enter into that T3, you can enter the Maipal road. Radisson already is where we are having it. So multiple entries have. From Gurgaon, we have a slip road, we made it. So that made what happened, they did not come to the main junction and stuck with the junction to ensure the smooth traffic flow into the airport. That's why even though compared last year, so much traffic increased, you didn't have felt because of these improvements we did. There were also some questions raised on delay of domestic flights transition to Terminal 3. The thing is, as the domestic is concerned, we have concerns decisions given as everybody involved, all the parties. Being common in the game show coming in October, so one of the key decisions taken by the entire industry include that let us not move immediately now. Let also Diwali rush is also more. Let us wait after that. So that's the consideration has been taken as a combined. So there's nothing to do with the airport readiness. The second thing point of view, you see, oh, domestic also quite a lot of time. So what airlines also they want more time because they have to a lot of continuity is an issue comparatively. So that's why another thing also they want more study time and all. That's another thing that happened there. Because of that, we took a decision like this. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com/apps.